I mean, there's been nothing in my life to compare to the great privilege and honor of serving you as the first African-American county executive. And to be able to do it in a place that quite literally has been blessed with God's favor, to be a one-of-a-kind jurisdiction, not just in America, but in the history of America. This is the only jurisdiction in the history of America where it was transformed from a little sleepy southern hollow when I was a child that was small, virtually all white and rural, to be in large, majority African American and cosmopolitan, and where income and education went up and not down. There's not another example of that anywhere in America or in the history of America. It is you, it is us. And I always wanted to do a good job on behalf of the people I represented and all of you. And I was taught from childhood forward that it is a corporate responsibility. It's everybody's togetherness responsibility to take the great favor that the Lord blesses you with, to spotlight the advantages that you have, to promote good principles and values and the ideals of excellence and hard work and fortitude and guts. And to take that and to transform it and to do your part to advance this community and this country over its checkered past, over the deranged atrocities of, of, of slavery and, 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 and discrimination to a new place. I am blessed to have a great family and, and, and folks with marvelous principles and, and good kids. You know, I enjoyed making history. I enjoyed winning an improbable battle. I enjoyed upsetting the apple cart. I enjoyed taking a fledgling force of new people who had moved to Prince George's County and using it to advance our community with that election. I enjoyed that. I'm not going to lie about it. It was a wonderful fulfillment of a bunch of values that, that I had been taught. But I also thought that it was more important to make sense than to make history. I enjoyed making history. And I remember this story about God instructing people to go over there in the land of milk and honey. I've given it to you. All you got to do is go occupy it. And they sent some scouts out to check it out. And the scouts came back and said, you must have lost your mind. It's giants over there. Man, we can't beat those guys. You, you sure God didn't make a mistake? God don't make mistakes. I told you go occupy the land. You come back and say you don't have the heart to do it. So when I look at numbers and democracy in Maryland, blue state, everybody gets elected out of Baltimore, Prince George's, Charles, a little bit of Montgomery, and, and, and you're the biggest force in the state, and your school's in Baltimore and Prince George's 23 and 24, out of 24, you're not using your power. You're scared of the giants in the land of milk and honey. So we got to get past that part. And, and there's some really smart people in this room that know how to do that. I've seen them do it before. But we live in a state where, as Frederick Douglass says, power concedes nothing without a demand, never has and never will. The power to demand whatever you want and, and we'll get is right here in this room, in this county, in this community, it's got special favor and special, very special dispensation from God. And it's that legacy that I reflect. Somebody pick up the gauntlet, count these numbers, get the binoculars and look at all that stuff on the other side of this land of milk and honey, because it's all yours. In this blue state, it is all yours. Anyway, thank you very much. I'm through pontificating. <laughs>